We have a question from Patrick. Currently, I'm a 50-year-old guy. Well, currently, and next year that'll be different. And 205 pounds, and I main a hot and maintain a high level of GPP. I have a structural leg length discrepancy after being hit by a drunk driver when I was a kid. Oh, I'm sorry. Due to the uh, LLD leg length discrepancy, discrepancy, I have had an adult life plagued by back issues, and I have herniated my L4 to 5 disc multiple times. Okay, uh, this we're sneaking up on medical advice here, but I'll do my best. Thankfully, I've never had to have this corrected with surgery, just proper rehab. And, and Patrick, hats off to you for proper rehab. That You don't hear that a lot. Lately, I've added the suitcase carry to my routine, and I've been feeling better. And, and you know, Stu McGill, you know, gives high praise to the suitcase carry. Um, I have chosen to focus on lengths of 90 to 100 paces. I don't know what a pay, uh, how far that is with a relatively lighter weight, 65 pounds, as opposed to using a heavier weight, 115 pounds, for 30 to 40 paces. Yeah, you know, on the suitcase carry, I, I think I agree with you. I think I think going longer is a better idea uh, than heavier, shorter, because a lot of people, when they start the suitcase carry, so with the weights in my right hand here, they start to, they start the suitcase carry, you know, like the, you know, the, the leaning tower of Pisa. And I don't know if that's good or bad. Question one, do you know of anyone else with a structural LLD that uses the suitcase carry to stabilize their hips? No, but I mean, I think, uh, I mean, I, I, if you feel like it's helping you, I mean, hats off. I mean, I don't get a lot of, you know, I don't, people don't tell me their uh, physical issues very much because I often, I, I, I'll, I'll tell, you know, you know, that's a medical issue and but I, I think this is good. What are your thoughts on going longer for better stability? I already answered it. I think that's really, really a good idea. Um, really a good idea, especially if it's making your 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 injuries and your long-term problems feel better. That's, that's great. Question two, I have recently had to march in place with my suitcase carry due to the weather. Are there any benefits to walking forward with the suitcase carry versus simply marching in place? Uh, I haven't found one yet, but and but there's an added benefit of marching in place is slowing down. And the more you slow down to even stopping in positions, you know, you know, boom, 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 you know, something like that, uh, that has great value. In fact, and I don't want to give you medical advice, but... Uh, that might really be a good thing for you to just stop it with the, the, you know one of the knees in a high position and alternate that. Um, I have an article online. You can uh, just type in Dan John uh, vertical windmill and um, uh, pardon me vertical bird dog. I'm sorry, <laughs> vertical bird dog, and uh, I show you all the variations on that. And you know uh, it might help. Um, thanks for sharing that, um, man. That's a that's trying to overcome something from childhood especially in that scenario it just is uh it, it seems unfair but thanks for thanks for being courageous and not only sharing your story with us but uh finding ways to overcome it